Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's number one English fluency guide, and it is a pleasure to welcome you to another advanced listening practice lesson. Welcome to the program. Well, today we are going to get into, uh, what should we talk about today? I want to talk about doing it your way. So doing something your way, and this just means that uh, when you learn something from someone else, like you're learning from me, or you see other people doing something, that doesn't mean you have to do it that way. Now, this is a, a really interesting idea because a lot of people think that, you know, they're kind of looking for a particular person to learn from, like you're looking for uh, guidance in how to improve your English, and that's why you're watching this video. But at the same time, it's important to remember uh, that you don't want to only listen to me or listen to other people for whatever it is you're learning. You want to think for yourself and decide if a program or maybe some pieces of something you might disagree with and maybe you want to create your own thing. Uh, so as an example, just even me thinking about uh, teaching and how I help people learn like I do through the videos that I produce here on YouTube, uh, I don't have a particular, I guess I don't have a, an actual like teaching degree, so I didn't go to school to get a master's. I have a uh, bachelor's in philosophy, and that's why I like to think about interesting things. That gets me excited, and it trained me to think. So it doesn't necessarily give me a piece of paper that says I know how to teach, but I think I do a pretty good job of that. Anyway, uh, when I was thinking about how do I help people learn better, there's the way of helping people learn the traditional way, or if I think that maybe that doesn't work so well, and I didn't think it works so well, or I didn't think it works so well, I don't think it works so well. Anyway, it's still lots of people, maybe 99% of the planet is still learning that way, so I still have a lot of work to do to, to change people to stop learning in the traditional way and get them starting to think about language in a different way uh, and practice in a different way as well. But when I was thinking about what's the best way to help people learn, uh, I had two options. I could do what other people were doing because that's what the majority of people are doing, or do my own thing, to go my way. Now, when you do things your own way or you do it how you want to do it, this is where you really open your mind up and you take responsibility for what you want to do. Now, in the case of learning languages, maybe you have to think about, uh, I'm trying to learn something uh, and it comes to me from a particular person, like you're learning something from me or for someone, someone else or a book, but then you take that opportunity to uh, judge whether that information is actually helping you. Uh, so it's a beneficial thing or if it's not a beneficial thing. And if it is helping you, fantastic. You can continue using it. But if it's not, then try to figure out a different way to do something. Here's another case. So in addition to me just creating a, a completely different way of doing something, I'm going my own way. I'm, I'm thinking about doing something my way. Uh, I did the same thing with exercising. So I have two uh, not so great knees. They have like, they make like a crackling sound, like when I bend them and I played uh, baseball for many years and soccer as well, uh, and I still play a little bit of basketball, but I haven't done that in many months because I'm just trying to re-strengthen my knees, uh, and hopefully I can, but uh, I tried lots of different approaches for doing that until like, I was like, okay, let me just think about what would be the easiest way to do that. Uh, so I think about what are the specific uh, goals that I have, which is strengthening my knee. And one of those things that uh, I, I can't do is try to put too much pressure on my legs at the same time when I'm doing it. So uh, I decided to start training in a pool. And I don't have a, uh, like a particular trainer. I don't have uh, somebody that I go to meet. I just think about what are the muscle groups I want to learn. Maybe I go to YouTube and I look up a particular video about that. But really, I'm kind of creating my own exercise program that's helping me strengthen my legs inside a pool. And I use what I have, which is like the local pool, which is, uh, it's pretty small. There are a bunch of like uh, older people in the pool and it's difficult for me to get in there and try to swim a lot. But they do have a shallow area where I can walk around and uh, do some leg training and some other things like that. But the point is, I'm not either waiting for someone to tell me what to do uh, or only doing what someone else is telling me to do. So in both of those cases, I'm kind of stopping myself from thinking about what's the best way to do something. And I don't want to just create a new method for no reason. But if I don't find something that's really helpful, then that's my chance and my opportunity to find something that maybe I should create myself or to design my own program. So I'm designing my own way of creating these lessons here for you. Nobody told me to create lessons like this that talk about life and psychology and things like that that help people improve their English. So I try to give two lessons at the same time. One is a lesson about life that really anybody could apply in any situation, and the other is the vocabulary that I'm using and the way I'm speaking. Uh, so in that same way, 
Uh, I don't want you to think about like you only have to learn what I'm telling you to learn or that somebody else is telling you to learn. Try to listen to what you're, uh, you're, you're receiving from books or videos or other things like that and then take that information and apply it in your life and figure out if it's actually helpful or not. If it is, continue doing it. If not, go your own way. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have. If you have any questions, do click that like button. Become a subscriber to the YouTube channel if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. To continue learning, click on the link in this video to download Speak English Naturally, our free guide to speaking and sounding like a native English speaker. The guide reveals the three most important kinds of conversational English you must learn if you want to sound native and will help you experience instant improvement in your fluency and speaking confidence. To download your free guide on a mobile device, click on the link in the upper right of this video. To download your free guide from a computer, click on the link in the lower right of this video. I look forward to seeing you in the guide.